Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special Retro Adventure Wednesday presentation here on a Monday. Or if you're watching the VOD or watching the archive on YouTube later, who knows what day it is. But the important thing is you're here, I'm here, Space Quest 3 is here, and I can't wait to play it. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you. It's me, your old pal, Decap Jedi, BMX Legend, and Space Quest 3, the Pirates of Pestilon Appreciator. Uh, a lot of y'all know... Uh, this one ranks up there with my favorite games of all time. I love Space Quest 3 dearly. And tonight, hopefully, I'm in for a, a treat because I'm going to be playing a version of Space Quest 3 that I've never played before. I'm going to be playing the black and white Macintosh port of Space Quest 3, which is interesting. We've played some black and white ports for the Mac before. I think we played Space Quest 1 and maybe 2. We played around with both of those. And they had some interesting, like, mouse interface -y kind of stuff. Hey, thank you, Metawi, for the reset. 36 months. That is unbelievable. Thank you. But we've uh, we've played around some of those before. This one's a bit different. It's uh, an SCI Zero game rather than the AGI games we've done before. This one actually uses, like, a whole new sprite for Roger. The the graphics are quite a bit different. It is, uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, the, the Sierra Dithering makes it look kind of Mac Paintish. But uh, honestly, just the few screens I've looked at on this one, it's pretty great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to giving it uh, a little bit more of a deep dive. Now, like all good entertainment products, I want to start this one with a preemptive apology. Uh, there is a good chance that at some point, maybe several points, this game will crash. I think it is held together right now, like with just prayers. Uh, <laughs> the emulator doesn't like it the game doesn't want to run uh it will boot me out uh i'm sure at least once while we're playing and we'll just get back going and, and make it all work but it could be a bumpy road but i think it'll be a bumpy road worth traveling like a bumpy road to a really good barbecue restaurant once you get there you won't regret the decision you made so old mac software fun fun old mac software ported by who knows who and running on emulator that probably hasn't been updated in about nine years. So yeah, this is a recipe for nothing but success. I mean, this is already like a fan patched version of the game to even make it run here. So who knows what'll happen, but uh, let's, let's give it a little shot. Let's see what happens when we try to play Space Quest three for the Macintosh. Whoa, I've been transported to, to a vaporware realm of uh, monochromatic intrigue. How did I get here? Um, we should be uh, should be just in in the proper mindset here to play a little bit of Space Quest Three. So um, this is a vibe. That's what I'm going for. Welcome in everybody. This is a new World of Horror module. Boy, Doctor Mario it does give some World of Horror vibes, doesn't it? I re I recognize that reference, and you aren't wrong. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing and see what happens. Thank you, Enrico Zox, for patching this for us. Hey, thank you, Ray. I love it already. Now, these opening bits pass by a little too quick. And after this message, it sort of slows on down. It's engines long spent. The small escape pod drifts aimlessly through unfamiliar star fields. Its course altered many times by small asteroids and space debris. Inside, Roger lays undisturbed, eyes undisturbed in his sleep chamber. But not for long. Yeah, that part zooms, and then we sit here and wait for the music to catch up. I'm right there with you. This feels like an artifact from a different universe. <laughs> For those of us who love the uh, the DOS version or the other more familiar versions of Space Quest 3. All right, we just wait this out. This is intended. All those credits were supposed to take a lot longer. Look at this. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? I could be on world record pace. I don't know if anyone has a time yet on black and white. 
Please, someone check speedrun for that. <laughs> Maybe we're on a world record pace no matter what. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what, uh, what operating system is. I know nothing about Max. Yeah, it's a very classy black and white. And it also speaks to how good Mark Pro's art is in this game. The fact that it translates so just smoothly over to black and white. Okay, here we go. Going to jump inside the garbage freighter any second now. The small pod is jarred by a sudden shock which triggers the sleep chamber's revive mode. As the glass shroud slides back, Roger slowly begins to regain consciousness. I like the uh, music here. Where am I? Ah, we got the synthesized speech! Where am I? They have a little tea bath. Look at this Roger sprite. It's so good. They really optimized it for black and white. You notice that the sounds from the pod grow softer until they are imperceptible. Having served its purpose and taxed its resources, the pod gives a final hum and shuts down. Huh, it doesn't have the melody to this. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Hey, Gracie. Yeah, it looks great. Let's see. Save game. This is their first save. Let's save it on the desktop. Well, they stole that from uh, Microsoft, huh? All right, get metal. My favorite death in ECR game. Yeah. Oh. So that's the full animation. It's obvious the metal is sharper than you. The resulting laceration turns you into a living fountain, at least for a few moments. Unfortunately for you, the show is your finale. Good luck in the afterlife. A brave but fatal attempt at arterial art. Is there a way to try on the multi-channel music and the options? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's restore back and see. I'm honestly not sure. Let's see. Hmm. I may have to be able to f fiddle around more with the uh, with the game. Yeah, this is definitely a t technical marvel. Do me a favor. Try rephrasing that. The bulbous crafts looks like you see a live action in today. You believe it to be a bow tie fighter dating back to the Cologne Wars, a true relic. Look, they still have the Roger walks through shadow and his sprite changes color. Listen to this sound effect. That's a genuine bucket lifter sound effect. Here we go, taking the ride. This blew my mind as a kid that you could ride the bucket up. That was sort of a newish Sierra thing. Normally you'd have to type get in bucket or something, like positionally being lifted off to another uh, another location. At least for me, felt pretty new. I don't know if any other Sierra game did a trick quite like this yet. Stand up, jump on rail. Oh, I forgot to do the treadmill move. Oh, well. Look at that. There we go. That's how we do it. Let's uh, get a save. Uh, da -da. 
conveyor. Now here's the question. I have no idea what arcade sequences will be like in this version. Who knows? All right. Fall off rail. Yeah, I could do that. Why not? It would be so bad for except for the sudden stop at the end. There's the deceleration trauma. Hey, that is uh, one of our emotes. Only the full color version of it. Thank you for redeeming that, Curious Lache. All right. Sound like the Quest for Glory Antwerp sound. Good point. Maybe after this, I should eventually try to play the uh, Japanese version of Quest for Glory 1. Maybe that's the next weird Sierra version. I'm not emulating this. I'm emulating it in an emulator called Mini VMAC. And it is being held together by Miracle. Uh, I, did, I forgot to do the trash grinder. I'm sorry, Kobold. Just slip on down there. Popping into the seat, you grasp the forward and backward control of the grabber. <laughs> Roger's little animation of looking back over the shoulder as he backs up is such a good detail. Hey, packing game. Hey, Muon, welcome in. This is the emulator. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the real hardware. We're good to see you. Welcome in. Oh, listen to that. That sounded like someone popped open the tab on a soft drink can. Ah, Pickle Dog, you played on Hercules. Very nice. Just one moment. I want to fix something here. Something that will bother me endlessly if I don't. Now I'm just going to move this chat box down a little bit. Oh, that's much better. All right. Oh, and ask Jess anything while we're paused. If you played Space Quest 4 in black and white, what offense of the monochrome boys? <laughs> With Roger going out of the bar. This is a great question. I mean, maybe they go from like, you know, <laughs> like maybe your grayscale to monochrome. Maybe that's the step down there. Because for each version, yeah, Space Quest 4, the monochrome boys, you know, if you're playing the Amiga, it's like, well, if it isn't Mr. Look at me, I'm in 32 colors or whatever. Yeah, maybe they would just go down, like, you know, from uh, from grayscale to two bit. Maybe that's how they'd make fun of you. Example of uh, Compact Max and stream the video with an RGB to HDMI. Oh, how is that? Did you also play this black and white version? Hey! Welcome in, Raiders. Thank you. There's the hero who's sneaking in. Thank you, Forte801. I just saw that you were streaming right before I came in. Yeah, some King's Quest IV. Were you uh, practicing speedruns over there? Is that uh, what you're up to? Either way, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Okay, here we go. Hey, Clil, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 38 knots. It's remarkable. Thank you so much. Uh, speed this guy up. I don't have a key shaped like that. 100% runs. Been more successful. What's a good time on King's Quest 4? I've never watched any speed runs of that one. Personal best 2140. Wow. Oops. It is super Mac. Ah, nailed it. Nailed it on the first try, y'all. That's exactly where that goes. Oops. 
Look, they can't all be winners. All right, let's do this again. Listen to the sound effects. It's so good. Yeah, world record is 1715. All right, well, you're closing in on it. 20 minutes. Kings Quest 4, I haven't played as much as a lot of other Sierra games. What I really like about this version is that, at the very least, it has a new graphic for Roger, which I don't know if the other graphics... I'm not smart enough in the world of graphics to tell if these have just been, like, dithered over to black and white from the original art, but Roger is definitely redone from scratch and looks great. Looking good, Roger. Looking good. Quite a good time to save because, again, this thing could crash at any minute. All right. Yeah, there had to be some hand touching on this, right? It, it wouldn't just happen to turn out looking so artful if it were something as simple as just like, oh, we just downscaled this. Hey, Josephus. Space Quest 3 is maybe my favorite game of all time. I love it. So glad you could join us tonight, especially for this strange version of Space Quest 3. Fortunately, you come to a relatively soft landing on a pile of debris. Oh, man. I hate Mises to pieces. Yeah, I bet that was a, that was like a pixel uh, escape there I got on the uh, robot. Um, <laughs> labber. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was uh, Leash Suit Larry, and I was trying to tap uh, climb lubber. Sweet. Screen so messy, but you can't die here. Yeah, of all the screens, ah, oh, there's the ladder ouch joke. Okay, rats here are random in most versions, right? Yeah, the the ouch joke is very good with the ladder. Yeah, the music's definitely off here, Ricky. We were noticing that earlier. It's missing the melody. The do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. Take the only decent piece of wire available. Dang it. <laughs> Mugged by some sort of large, <laughs> large rat. Last time I played, I did not get rats doing things in the same order I'm doing them here. So I think the rat is at least somewhat random. Yeah, Roger likes walk bounce and replaces it with arm wiggle. The mugging went by quicker. Yeah, some of the animations are out of time in this. It's, uh, I think, probably a combination of this is a fan-patched version of the game and the emulator probably isn't doing things quite right. And I probably also don't have the emulator set up as well as I could. I can slow it down, and who knows, we may have to when we get to um, when we get to the arcade sequences. Oh wait, the wire's back there now. Mm. 
mailing it. Just gonna tap inventory. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I wanna know more about this Google Wave experience. So is the wire over in the corner too? It's been so long since the rat got me. Okay, now we can go on. We've done it, gang. We've bent this game to our will. I'm glad y'all could join me in that. Who doesn't want to play? Ouch. Who doesn't want to play Space Quest 3, though? Such a lovely game. Hey, g -Funk. this is easily up there for me, too. Glad you could join me. Who doesn't love some Space Quest 3? I'm in robot. Roop. Yeah, Quest for Glory 1 is right there for me, too, in terms of favorite Sierra games. Okay. Use ladder. Save game for when I fall off the ship. Millard. I like that Roger's uh, sprite disappears. When you save a game. Open hatch. Oh, wow. I don't have to close the hatch, do I? Oh, it's okay. Let's see. Place generator. Use wires. Okay, search seat, set, search seat, aha, seven buckazoids, there it is. Oh, if you uh, put the ladder against the mallard exit and go back to the rat room, then you can't get out. Interesting. And I was going to, let's see here, let's see, look, computer. Looks like this bird's in good shape. How awesome is the black and white version of uh, of this interface? I love it. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that wasn't that good. Hey, Ackerman, welcome in. Look at that. That is a slick looking diagram. All right, let's see here. It's so fast, yeah. Let's see. How can I? Let's. Is it Control S? Right now I'm on eight x speed. Let's maybe take it down to two or four. Let's see how that goes. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Shopes. Welcome, man. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely get a save here. I always, sorry, not now. Oops. Let's see. Oh, am I too late? Oh no, don't worry about interrupting. Glad to have you here. You feel a strong rumbling as the ship strings loosen itself from the confines of the junk heap accumulated at its base. Finally, it begins to rise. The ship rises several meters and stops abruptly. An alarm from the computer attracts your attention. 
Oh, click on the little apple. There we go. Sherlock Jr., does that tell you anything you need to know? All right. Can I... Guess I can't look away. Um, eight. B. Wait, eight. Shot blast a new orifice in the side of the junk freighter. Pressure generated by the desire of the ship's atmosphere to escape the considerably lower pressure of space causes the ship to be spit out like a watermelon seed. All right. We're in space. I like that we have an engine sound here. Look, screen. Okay, navigation system. Let's see how this goes. This is great. Flea butt. Why don't we go there? sound is great judgment terminate <laughs> that sounds like a bad windows 98 notification <laughs> okay we nailed it i'm guessing that's a timer issue right let's see here what if we, what if we went down to 1x? With a mighty plump, you set the aluminum mallard down the surface of Liebet. Liebet to fester, as they say. Um, let's see. We learned in Space Quest VI that Fester's race uh, are known as the Fleebetetskis. This is 15 colors fewer than ideal. Nah, it's good. Let's see. Exit. Shit. Let's see how we're doing now with our speed. <laughs> this may be too slow. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this. Oh, wow, wind. As you step out of your ship onto the surface of Flea, but you're hit in the face with harsh winds. It looks like a storm is brewing. Meanwhile. So good. This looks like the hottest indie game of 2021 right now, which is why I'm loving it. It looks like something that like some developer would put out and everybody would have gone gaga over. Yeah, classic emulator problems. Boy, the sound effects here are so good. Futuristic Cobra Den, yeah. Yeah, the heavy step sounds were very good. Oh, 
Oh no, I want back. What a fool I am. Who knows what the speed issues will do to the, uh, to the situation with Arnoid here. Oh no, a bit of a scorpion. Ooh. Did I get away? Did I get it? Did I get it? All right. Oh, I'm definitely watching for spit steps. Don't you worry. Another scorpion. Do, 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 do. Ooh, do you think we'll get fester talk? Just ahead, visit the Mog Memorial, the galaxy famous World O Wonders. Y'all come back now, alien scum. Thanks, Crumb J. <laughs> oh, I love it. I can't believe this exists. Okay. Look in case. I don't see anything this far away. A quick drum break there. Hmm. An Antarian Slab Devil. It may be cute, but only an idiot would get near one. Looks like you won't be around to appreciate the other diverse wonders of this garden spot universe. <laughs> this is wonderful. Okay. Gotta get serious. We gotta get serious. What a choice! And then we're at our stick. Master Chicken Flathead. Guy had to plan Starmaway. Take your time. Oops. <laughs> Faster to cool it, man. Okay. Wow, you just can't slow him down. Oh yeah, this is a mess. Bye. Oh wait. Sell gem. Ooh. Drums are so good. Bah. Or at. Last choice. Bah. Underwear. Yeah, really hard to see those postcards. see him. Gives you a nice hand there for the underwear. Ah, Roberta Land. The fun park of the future. Okay, 
right, here we go. This is going to get dicey. Let's see if the hat comes rolling off in this version. Yep, there it is. There's the hat. <laughs> I love it. So this is Roger Wilco, the man that's sent across the universe to track down and terminate. Seems like you forgot to pay for that Labion Terror Beast whistle. Good people. <laughs> Give away. No, nah, uh, dust you like fuck cake. How good does that cutscene look? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, did he... bad uh let's see here um world of wonders okay Loved having the Orium come back in this game as a kid. Save here. Wah, wah, wah. This could be a problem. Uh oh. Okay. So we're going to try that. We'll try it at 1x. See how this goes. Take a little break here while it loads. got a bad feeling about this gang a triumphant uh playthrough may be coming to a crashing halt yeah the speed is changeable uh oh not like that Hey, Robot Spacer. First, you have to play on Color Max. This is great to see. Good to see you, Robot Spacer. Everyone, be sure to go follow Robot Spacer. Terrific streamer. Always a pleasure dropping in over there. Didn't leave a mess wherever you go. So right now, we're running into some timer issues, Robot Spacer. As soon as Arnoid put us down, he immediately picked us back up and rung us out. Uh, giving us no time to escape or go to another screen or anything. So, we'll see. Non-payment is a serious offense. So, we'll see. This run could be over before it's even really begun. Hey, Kevin. Parenting a clock, oh, that's the worst time of day. Or the best, I guess. Okay, now, last time he just phased out and then immediately phased back in and killed us. Okay, it looks like we may stand a chance here. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Try this a different way. Did I not save after I bought everything? I think, 
Did I not? Really? Come on. It's been all out. Hey, Snowy B. Oh, wait. Sell Jim. Oh, I did. I saved his. Uh oh. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Restore. Oh, come on. Leave. Sorry, not now. You have to die first. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm immediately picking us up. There is an emulation speed timer, so that's what we're going to hit here. So we're going to go down to emulation speed 1x. Then we're going to leave. And I wonder if I need to have my game speed higher, is the question. Like, maybe I need game speed high and emulation speed low? Who knows? Is 16 fast or slow in this game? I want to think one's fast, isn't it? Pay more recordings. That's what I thought. <laughs> we'll never know. Okay, speed. Okay, not impressed. I'm using Mini VMAC. Robot Spacer, do you have a better suggestion? Because <laughs> Mini VMAC is uh, limiting in some ways, I would say. Just watch Roger in abject horror for as long as possible. Oh man, the footprints are right behind me. Run. Ooh, Basilisk 2. Does that uh, work in Windows? Ooh, I'll have to check it out. Ooh, that's a good question. Same data may be transferable. But I am not 100% sure I have the know-how on how to do it. Go, Roger, go. Go, Roger, go, go. Ba, 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 go, Roger, go, go, go. Roger, be slow. This is pretty hilarious, though. This is probably the speed this is meant to be played at. What we don't all remember is this is the speed we all played it at, like, in 1989. It's just in our memory we imagine it being faster. Seems like I'm beating the footsteps, and that's all that matters here. Exactly, packet game. Okay, I don't know why I came for the more difficult kill here. That seems like a big mistake since it's hard to pull off in a version of the game that's running at the proper speed. But here we go anyway. Here I go again on my... Do I go left or right here? Take your time replying. We've got plenty of time.
Yeah, I think the consensus seems to be right. That would match the uh, rock outcroppings that we're seeing too. So I call that a a logical answer. Come on, Roger. Where are you? Here he is. <laughs> this is so funny. Sorry. This is how the game was meant to be played. Yeah, I mean, these are kind of gorgeous, though, right? These screens look great. Give you plenty of time to think about your crimes. Watch now, we've probably got to where the uh, footsteps won't appear at all. We probably messed it up the other way. <laughs> what do you think about this is making me nervous? Okay, we've got diagonals. Oh, I'm stuck on the rock. Oh, that could be a costly mistake. Okay, can I do it? Yeah, I didn't know there was a way to kill him in the statue as a kid. This is the only way I ever did. So I should be in position, right? Should I speed it up and try to coax him out? I guess I should save first is the answer to that. Right? We save and then we'll speed it up and see if Arnoid shows up. Three. Four. Oh yeah, it looks a lot better than the AGI games did uh, on early Max. What do we think, gang? All out. Give me all the speed you can muster. Hey, Silver Street. Good to see you. Well, that still works. Yeah, I was saying earlier, this almost looks like a uh, a very modern indie game, right? Like, this looks like an aesthetic that a game would try to capture. Ogre Den is probably the one that uh, springs to mind, too. Well... Hmm. What do we think, gang? How would you deal with this situation? Should I leave the screen and come back? That seems unwise. Oh, there's the footprints. Right? Okay, so he's still out there. Hey, Atari Beer Pong. Good to see you. Let me actually pause for a second here. This is uh, this is a good opportunity to put some shout outs out in the uh, out in the stream. Everyone, be sure to go follow Robot Spacer. Always a fun streamer to drop in on. Be sure to check out Silver Streak, my favorite VTuber. 
let me give a shot shout out here to atari beer pod also lovely streamer plays a lot of adventure games uh you can't go wrong uh following uh any of those three folks be sure to do it thank you kevin mm. hydrate the rest your hand three absolute favorites be sure to drop in on them um okay let's see here. <laughs> okay we're gonna try going back to the ship and then coming back this way and see what happens. We can get this. We're gonna get Arnoid, don't you worry. Arnoid doesn't stand a chance. <gasps> here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, come on, Arnoid. Wait, what the? Wait a second. That's how that works. <laughs> he got it around the pods. Not allowed to do that. Did they improve Arnoid's AI in this version? Yeah, you're supposed to fall right into my trap, you dummy. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it. It's Apple. It just works. Gotcha! Okay. <laughs> I did not think that was going to happen. <laughs> I thought that was game over. Okay. Use aura. Use belt. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Use Orat to get belt. Use Orat on belt. Look, body. Use Orat. Hmm. I have to move. I bought it. Down to the left. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay, let's uh, let's get serious here, gang. We've got important work to do. Okay, nailing it. Absolutely nailing it. Important thing is we're nailing it. <laughs> so it's get belt. Um, <laughs> okay. We got this. We got this. Hey, Purple Tackle. Good to see you. You're here just in time for some excellent... Well, gosh darn it. Stand way over to the left. Well.
Oh, I've got it, I believe. Yeah, I've got the red eye stick. In line with the wreck. Why have I never had trouble with this before? Whoa, a little too fast. Try too close. Oh my gosh, we did it, gang. Oh. All right. Wow. I can't believe we did it. Oh, wow. Great opportunity there from Sweaty EXW. I would love to get more followers, views, and all those other things. Well, if the timer's broken for vaporizing, I mean, there's a lot of things that could be very broken. I think our biggest threat is going to be Rock'em Sock'em robots, or Nukem Dukem robots, rather. This could be the part that gets us, though. Hmm. I think I just walk on, right? snack oh there we go we did it gang <laughs> okay any questions <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's my giant pixelated head and my AI voice. <laughs> Thank you, Dick, for slapping that. <laughs> How's it going, Nick? Thank you so much. All right, let's go to light speed. Welcome to Calypso Monolith Burger. This is great. Fantastic. Doesn't it? <laughs> Go see UFO people narf here. Um let's see. Buy monolith meal. Oh wait. Big Belcher combo. Thank you. Uh-oh, what a hit. What a buy. You to quit. Okay. <laughs> this is a great gag. This is a very good gag. Space Buds? Black Fruit Path? 
Hey, man. You gingerly pick up the greasy bag. I would like to have a seat and dig in. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have a very good artificial intelligence. This is, of course, where we take a uh, user-generated prompt. We plug it in to the mid-journey AI bot, and we ask it, please, AI bot, go out there and literally scrape together all the fattest art and, and regurgitate it back to me as uh, something you're going to call your original work. Uh, in this case, our prompt is courtesy of Curious Lache, and the prompt is Robot Schwarzenegger and Space Janitor having a burger together, black and white. And once the results are in, I'll share them here live on the channel, and we will see how well AI can interpret this very simple, um, this very simple prompt. Uh, I don't see what room for ambiguity there is there with that prompt. So this one should be a no-brainer. I feel good about it. Okay, it's working. It's at 15%. And so far, it's hard to say how it's doing. I wouldn't say... Oh, oh. Well, well, well. Okay, something's taking form. I mean, honestly, you're going to get kind of what you ask for, I think. And you're going to be very pleased with this. <laughs> Okay, these are pretty good. Okay. Um, all right, I'm ready to share them. Uh, the the alchemy is complete. Um, and uh, we're going to see, see what we get here. Okay. Um, let me just uh, pull it up here and get ready to uh, share it. And you can tell me, is this, as you requested, Chris Lashay, a robot Schwarzenegger and Space Janitor having a burger together in... Black and white. <laughs> okay, top right is Bicentennial Man, right? Like that's that's a total Bicentennial Man situation there. Um, <laughs> this is very classy. I mean, all of these are pretty good. <laughs> I mean, they're not they're not super far off. Like the lower left hand corner made arnold the uh the space janitor actually i guess all of them did to varying degrees is that zachary levi below right yeah that is upsettingly swole shazam era zachary levi schwarzenegger's also the janitor that's right this ai is how you get two two schwarzeneggers for uh for the price of one so there you have it chubby elon musk enjoyed a juice box with my centennial man <laughs> Double the Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you. Yeah, top left, Roger has a cool Thanos gauntlet. I mean, lower right is kind of Ultron, right? Without the ears. Uh, it's like an earless Ultron at some level. These are all pretty good. <laughs> Actually, lower left, if you look at the robot in lower left, it has some... Okay, it looks like a cross between Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Mr. Freeze, and the Dark Jedi Malak is that his name from Knights of the Old Republic, the guy who's like the cover art for it. It looks like he exists somewhere in a liminal space between Mr. Freeze and Malak from Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that's what you asked for. I think we nailed it. I think we got exactly what we were looking for there. <laughs> that's the action. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Lashley. Okay. Okay, now this animation in the original game is one of my favorite things in the ACR game. Let's see if Roger scarfing this meal is just as hilarious as this new sprite. Still pretty good, but you don't get... The gulp isn't as exaggerated, I feel like. Ready to put it on the wall, yeah. Mmm, that was mighty tasty. <laughs> Reminds me of the slick skin of a really amused swarm. Uh-oh. Did I not get my ring? Huh. Why did I not get my drink? Or my ring? My decoder ring. What did I do wrong there? Did I order the wrong meal, maybe? Do 
Do, do, do. Order. Big Belcher combo, right? No, it's the Miles thumbnail. I got the Big Belcher. I need the thumbnail, don't I? How'd I do that? This is my favorite game, and I'm making rookie mistakes. It's a Terry Beer Pog. Now I hear this. Eat meal. Oh, I didn't pay him, did I? Okay, I can do this. Uh, order. I got this. Uh, trust me, I can do this. Seven. It'll only take me a few more tries. There we go. Now we got it. Boy, the aliens look really good in this version, too. Ah, it's a swell decoder ring. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, you know what time it is. It's Astro Chicken time. And I'm going to make a bold prediction. I'm going to be like Babe Ruth calling my shot. Imagine there's a... Uh, a sick boy Grayson out in the stands whose one wish was to see me nail Astro Chicken on my first attempt. And I'm going to do that for him. But for this boy Grayson, I will need at least one attempt to calibrate my, uh, my speed settings. So I'm going to like try, once my speed settings are in, once I have a playable version of Astro Chicken, I will get it. First try. I don't need controls. Wait, let's uh, get the speed down to normal. Ooh, how quick that's going doesn't look good. It'll take a little while, I got this. What? Okay. With one feed left to go. This is a little different. A little different than the DOS version. I got it. No problem. What the? Ah, I landed that one. What was that? You saw that, everybody. You saw that numb scullery. Woo. Can't believe that counted. So out in the stands. This is for you. First try, baby. Grayson, good news. You're going to survive. Woo. All right. That's how we do it. Oh, man. Easy chicken game. I don't want to say... I'm the best in the universe at this, but I mean, y'all saw it. Everybody saw that. <laughs> Your master, master chicken, most impressive indeed. Cheers, everyone. We did it. <laughs> How'd you see that one that I finished with one feed left? <laughs> Dang, that's a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Snowy P. All right, Grayson, do you feel better? Uh, have you been cured of your mysterious illness? 
<laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Beer Bob. That's very kind of you. <laughs> okay. Why well, won't it let me exit? There we go. Ooh. Okay. Well, that was a success. That actually gives me um, some hope here that maybe the other arcade sequences will be playable. Um, I was I was very concerned about that. Get back to our ship. Oh, I missed this song. All right. Do 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 do. All right. Engines. Nav system. Scan. It's Rob Ortega, right? And we will light speed there. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Okay, we're here. No, I'm really impressed by it too, uh, Nick. It's it's really this is my first time playing it. It's playing so well. Eden Waith, love the use of Chicago Fire. Absolutely. So why do you think Roger goes on his rescue mission? Usually he's only heroic by accident. You know, this is something I know that uh, the Space Quest historian has brought up a lot. That sort of the Roger who's just stumbling through being a hero or trying to save his own skin in Space Quest 1 and 2 doesn't seem to match up with this Roger who's either taking it upon himself to help out the guys from Andromeda or is just traipsing around mindlessly through the galaxy and accidentally does that along the way. I'm not sure, you know, to me, I like to think of it like if I were rewriting the, the space quest games into some sort of cohesive whole, rather than, you know, six independent games that were kind of just whatever the guys felt like making at the time. Um, I think I'd like to imagine it's Roger maybe growing into the hero he would eventually become by Space Quest V, like someone who's capable of being a captain, a hero, and all that sort of stuff. Or brown-haired Roger is a, a different character also. Uh, also makes sense. Yeah, Space Quest Conta Companion adds some more uh, storyline. Wear underwear. Stan. You do have to stand up without underwear. This is true. I made that mistake many a time. Her, do I have to turn on underwear? I don't think I do. Turn on your underwear. Okay. Uh, leave ship. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna do something. We're gonna make. We're gonna make something work here. Um, I don't know what it is yet. Uh, but I'm gonna make it work. Um, you know me. I'm all about uh, hashtag making it work. All right. So what can we do? Hmm. Okay, I have at least one idea. Uh, we'll see if this works. Um. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right. Let me just <laughs> let me just try this though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i just had to kick it and uh it came back in color uh weirdly enough so that's pretty cool um just uh it's like it was uh always like this you know just uh 
resize things a little bit and uh, put it in this here box. Let's drag that guy out to there. And uh, hey, it's like it's like it just um, it just fixed itself. <laughs> Here we go. You see, we got past the air. <laughs> All right, we're doing it, gang. You might ask yourself, what kind of person just happens to have uh, the perfect save game for Space Quest 3 sitting around? And the answer is me, baby, me. All right. <laughs> the impressive back color version, yeah. No, this isn't the Mac version. This is just good old Scum VM playing the DOS version now. Here's the thing. I'm so much more impressed by the DOS version now. Like, we had some really beautiful graphics uh, on the Mac version, but man, look at how nice the shading is on those lava rocks in the... Uh, the little cluster there at the middle of the screen. It's not a Mac port world record base. I was for a little while. Hey, David Alexander. Okay. Stuff to graphics card and emulator. That's right. This scene looks so good. I'm like amazed by the existence of color now. That's all it took. I played like an hour and a half of a black and white game and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all this. How does it even work? All right, we're doing it. We're doing it, gang. We're back on track. World record pace. Oops, didn't mean to just type the sex number, but I did. I'm trying to use my diagonals. You reach the rim of the decayed cinder cone and are, um, and are overwhelmed by the sight. Impressive machine of staggering size sits in the middle of the volcanic crater. Atari Beer Pong, I would agree 100%. I think that Space Quest 3, for me in a lot of ways, is Sierra at its best. I never thought Sierra was quite as good after shifting to point and click. I feel like the parser games are st still hold a place in my heart. And I love the SCI Zero games like this one. I think Space Quest 3 is just gorgeous. Hey, Seagull, thank you so much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. If you're just joining us, we were playing the Macintosh version of this in black and white, and it finally crapped out on us, so we had to move over to the DOS version. We'll pull a uh, Dr. Nanuki on this. Uh, well, I'll keep the VOD up, Seagull, if you're just... <laughs> if you want to check it out, the VOD's up, and we made it pretty far. We made it all the way here to Ortega. Um, <laughs> perfect. Okay, I haven't dropped the detonator. There we go. That's a slippy dome. There we go. Roberta says, be next time. <laughs> Careful next time climbing, yeah. Okay, we got this. Still on world record pace. Here we go, this rock ASAP. Nice screen shake. Tiny Roger's very good, right? Oh, 
Okay, getting out of here. Making it happen. Man, I was so proud of that Astro Chicken run. I hate to see it all go to waste. It was some of my best Astro Chickening ever. Your brow froze and grim determination as you prepare for a tremendous leap. Romanian judge gives you a 9.5. Truly outstanding job by one of the finest young athletes we've seen this season. You'd like to try that again, but your pole seems to have fallen into the tumultuous lava below. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. you turn that into a leisure suit, Larry Chuck. Is this an 80%? Yeah, I mean, this is a good point, Robot Spacer. If this is... Here's the question. Can we do a switch platforms midway through the game percent? Like, a Mac into PC percent? Because I feel like I'm on that so far. I don't know how many speedruns there are on multiple versions of the game. <laughs> Yeah, definitely world record now. Man, listen to this rich soundtrack. Set course. It's time to go meet those pirates of Pestilon. Take me there at light speed. There's nothing like traveling at light speed from a planet to its own moon. Pour one out for the monochrome burger thing. Oh man, yeah, the theme on Monolith Burger was so good, wasn't it? It was like the lullaby version of it. Exit ship. Man, I'm so sleepy now. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just save this pestilence. <laughs> you make your way through the forest of strange trees in the clearing where you discover the entrance to some large underground complex. This must be Scumsoft. Suddenly, the door to the complex begins to open. Yeah, Large Roger is odd. Several guards fell out of the entrance and dispersed into the woods. They must have been alerted to your presence when you landed. Two guards remain. Wow, this thing really works. I like this invisibility effect. Varying levels of mullet. It's always the worst. It's happening. Ah, uh, this ability belts out power. Okay, here we go. Skim saw. Diesel dealing past guards that can't see, that's right. Oops. Okay, look in closet. Nice closet. Rummaging around the cramped closet, you found a pair of old grimy janitorial coveralls. Oh, great idea, Roger. No one would be suspicious of a janitor walking around. You grab the coveralls and pull them on, seizing the opportune moment to dump all the old items you've been pocketing nice along. <laughs> Thank you, Pickle Doc. Wait, what's this? That Mr. Garbage Trash Vaporizer. I love this bit. Okay, that's the security door. Disguising a janitor is very good, right? Very special birthday today. Mr. Pug has just turned 14. Oops, she missed. How good does the vaporizer sound on MT32? 
Let me grind. Space Quest 3 is like the best and worst Space Quest at the same time. Tell me more. Mm. Get the copy. Don't forget the original. Replace the original order. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Space Quest Steve with all the vaporized trash. Yeah, nobody ever talks about that part. That janitor here doesn't know his way around. <laughs> you know, I can see describing this as a little self-indulgent. <laughs> I mean, inserting yourself as characters into the game, you know, there's, there's an argument to be made there. What? How do you catch me? Oh, I passed a full one. Passed a real full one, as they say. How dare you ignore that wastebasket? Kill them! What? Why have I forgotten how this maze works? What, what have I done here? I claim this to be my favorite game, but now when the heat is on, I can't buy my way. The heat is on to do 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 do. You know, this is an interesting Atari Beer Pong. I've seen people suggest that this is a jab at Lucas film because of the name Scumsoft. But my read on it from like interviews that I've read with the guys from Andromeda and everything is that they were trying to like slag on Sierra with this. That like Scumsoft was them trying to poke fun at Sierra. Because I think Scott's even said at some point up to the fourth row, then exit left. From the start screen. Okay. I don't know why I'm struggling with this. But I think um, he's even said he wasn't really aware that the Lucas Films engine was called Scum at the time. That's uh, probably something that as modern fans we talk a lot about, but maybe back then wasn't as much of a, a talking point. Oops. Well, there you go. Yeah, I think that they had hired some new producers that were really metaphorically cracking the whip on them here. And uh, we see that reflected in the game. Yeah, and you know, I don't know, like, if you read game reviews at the time, nobody was calling, like, the Lucasfilms games, you know, scum games or talking about the scum engine. Yeah, probably a stab at Microsoft, too. I mean, I think that Elmo has the Bill Gates element going on, and then Scumsoft, you know, works as a nice little jab at uh, at Microsoft. I think I've said before when playing this, oops, uh, when playing this that 
in his book about the history of Sierra, um, Ken Williams only mentions Space Quest twice, and both times it was to complain about this joke um, with the whipping of the uh, programmers. Okay. Get key card. All right, we're doing it, gang. Whew. Stream's getting a little longer than I intended. Yeah, the other whipper was a very specific producer. I can't remember who it was, but David Alexander, I believe you're right. Oh, yeah, I guess I was supposed to discover my ship there, wasn't I? Nailed it. What a cha strange choice this was. Hey, it's the guy from Andromeda. Vaporizer. Man, the sound effects are so neat in MT32. What's your name? Roger Wilco. They discovered our distress message we coded into Astro Chick and sent us here as punishment. Got here before we're discovered. Hey, Toga Mario. Rick Cavan was the other whipper. Interesting. Yeah, but Ken clearly took that joke pretty seriously. Yeah, no mention of the two guys from Andromeda or Space Quest in his book, other than complaining about that joke. Pretty clever, disguising yourself as, uh, as a janitor. I like that joke. My boys found your sorry excuse for a ship in the woods. Take him to the arena. Rock him. Rock him. Rock em, suck em, robot. Okay. Two guys are separated. Okay. This kid's still playing on Funny Space Venture. He has been uh, slowly uh, giving himself an out on that uh, more and more uh, in recent uh, recent months. My guess would be no. <laughs> I can solve a lot of speculation here, but I'm not going to. Oh, Toga Mario, I take it you may have some insider uh, info on it under NDA. I think I'm still under a space venture related NDA. <laughs> can I even say I'm under an NDA? Does that violate NDAs? I don't know. <laughs> well, I won't push you any harder on Toga Mario. <laughs> Not declaring anything, that's right. <laughs> oh, literally, we 
working on Space Adventure in the background now. Well, that's exciting. Well, I hope Ken helps out with it. I'd love to see Space Adventure uh, really, really come together. That's awesome, Toga Mario. Glad to have you here. Okay. Why am I not good at Rock'em Sock'em Robots? That's good to hear. You know, I absolutely understand why, given the tone and tenor in the Kickstarter, that there aren't more public updates these days. But it's good to hear that it's still being worked on regularly. I wouldn't wade in there and try to update people either if I was managing that project. Okay. I need a better strategy, gang. I need to slow her down a little. Yeah, maybe so. There's a pacifist version of this fight. Tell me more, Eden. Come on, walk into it. Oh yeah, here we go. Come at me, bro. There we go. Ah, Space Quest Historian featured at the Olympics. Ooh, ooh, a little too fast. Get them, you fools! Okay. Let's do this thing. We got a game to beat. Fart bugged out on you. Trolls is awesome. One of my dearest friends going way back online. Always glad to see him continue to do awesome stuff with the Space Quest community. Ah, oh, you can get in a spot where Elmo can't hit you. Interesting. All right, it's a milk run from here on out. What a great phrase. Gosh, Raj, we really appreciate you saving us and all. Uh-oh, light speed non-functional. I guess we'll go into attack speed. This joker's back on Pestalon, tampered with it. Six for cockpit view. How do you like the game so far? Was it worth fifty nine ninety five? Pain of speed. Let's see. I have to wait until they just say that. Ah, here we go. Skull fighters. Weapon system. I've been bad at this the last few times I've tried it too, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Target in front. Target negative. Target in rear, back. All right.
We got this. Target in rear. Come to Papa. Do tilly do tilly do tilly do. All right. Oop, bro. Shields. Is that it? How many more do I have? Give me some more. Like Britney Spears, let's say. Give me more, give me more. Let's go. Tricky one. All right. It's like you're too much for him. We did it. Ah. F6. Man, oh man, you really showed those bozos a thing or two. Now, can we get something to eat? It's the most competent Roger's ever been. It really is. I guess we just GG'd it, didn't we? We informed the two guys that last piece is no longer functional. They're not overly pleased by this piece of news. Well, now I'm never gonna eat food. Some rescuer you are. World record for the Mac DOS hybrid run. We did it. We did it, gang. World record. Hey, what's this thing on the wall? Man, fist this bucket of plastic bolts. Mm, fan belt thing came off the wrap thing it was on. <laughs> Just a second. Ooh, man, Toga Mario. I like that uh, emote. It's her disc six. Let's go grab a burger. You know, that's too light. Do you have no course laid in? Light, in? light engines kick in before you can override. You inform the two guys that last speed is now functional, but it's out of control. All Dave Coulier. They're not overly pleased with this bit of news either. Oh no, why did I get up this morning? Mommy! Ooh, perfect score. That's not bad either for the uh, DOS hybrid run. Oh man, Toga Mario, it's my favorite. Right there, Space Quest V. It's a tie for me, maybe. But I think if I'm really honest, maybe Space Quest Three. Just hard to beat. I think it's the most beautiful game. Oh man. Thank you so much for the follow, XX House. Welcome, man. The overwhelming force of the black hole draws your ship in. Help us do anything. You and your passengers strap in and hope for the best. Hey, thank you, Toga Mario. I appreciate it. Cheers. Keep up the good work on Space Venture. Glad to have you here tonight. bright light becomes visible in the distance. It grows larger as your ship races toward it. Finally, you're hurled out of the blackness into a parallel universe. This is the best song, huh? You cut the engine's sublight speed as you near a seemingly habitable planet. I recognize that. I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Pickle Dog. Any questions? Hey, I went here on my honeymoon. <laughs> I stood in that very parking lot and imagined I was getting out of the aluminum mylard. And my wife, my newlywed wife was like, when will this be over? <laughs> <Can we leave?" laughs> Actually, she was very kind. She took photos of me. It was a wonderful day. Two guys from Andromeda University, famous software authors. Uh, I would have loved to see the black and white robot fight too. I'm bummed by that. Space Age swashbuckler and all around nice guy. I really did go to <laughs> go to Oakhurst and uh, and visit Sierra headquarters on my anniversary or on my, on my honeymoon. Uh, we were honeymooning in Yosemite, and it's like, well, it's right there. We did stop for the talking bear. I have a photo of me with the talking bear. Why are you two guys coming to work for me? How many Buckazoids does it pay? <laughs> Buckazoids? Do you need a janitor? 
no. As our space saga comes to a close, Roger, feeling a little left out, struts off to his ship with the satisfaction of knowing his mission has been accomplished. We did it, gang. We beat the game. After all that hard work, it was, uh, was all well worth it. I can't believe we made it to the end of Space Quest 3. Um, the, high, the world record for a hybrid Mac PC run of it. Ken Williams making cameos in comedy games. He's real old school 80s Stan Lee energy. It really is. Uh, Experiment Eco. Here we go. Um, as, a, as a prize for y'all being um, so patient with me. Uh, let's see here. I know what everyone loves more than anything is a good uh, slideshow of my vacation. Um, so let's see here. Um, while it's playing the credits, uh, why not just... Uh, choo -choo -choo. I've not played the Amiga version. Um, let's see if I can find why I just load up. Here's me in 19, I'm sorry, in 2003 in front of Sierra headquarters. <laughs> there it is. Looking good. Uh, they're hanging out in front of the Redwood building. Uh, <laughs> let's see, what else do I have? Uh, here I am with the world famous talking bear. <laughs> Again, mere days after I was married. Um, <laughs> could not have been happier. Uh, let's see. Um, what else do I have? <laughs> if you call 911 in Oakhurst, Jim Walls picks up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's definitely a white difference. <laughs> and a good, um, whoa, man, uh, yeah, 20 years, uh, too. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's me. <laughs> it's Decap Jedi hanging out at Sierra on his sunny bed. <laughs> Living my best life. Arriving in Oakhurst is an emergency call that one one. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, I think we did it. Let's uh, let's get that vapor calc up here. There it is. That's why we all came to see. <laughs> I can't call it quits. It's so late. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out and joining me. Well, we made it pretty far in the Mac version. Man, the Mac version is something else. Those... Those black and white graphics just look so sharp to me. I really love that whole vibe. So thank you for joining me for that. I need to need to call it now. I'll be back on Wednesday. I'm going to be playing more Hollywood Monsters. If you haven't checked that one out, it's a uh, Spanish adventure game that came out in uh, 1997 uh, with a fan patch that gives us some English subtitles. We've been having a lot of fun with that one. It's better than I would have guessed. Uh, Hope you can uh, hope you can make it back for that. Let's see though. Where should we go? Let's drop in on Cobra Commander. Cobra is playing. Uh, what is she playing? Uh, Ripper. Uh, the FMV point and click horror game. This one looks like a fun one. Let's drop in on Cobra and say hey to her. Hey, thank you, Archer Hawk. I appreciate the follow. -up. Thank you, everybody. Uh, especially new viewers. It was great having you here. I would love to see you again. I tend to stream these sorts of old adventure games every Wednesday night. Typically, tonight was sort of a special one, but I uh, hope you can come back again. It was uh, it was a pleasure to see you. So let's uh, let's drop in on Cobra, tell your decap Jedi I sent you, and uh, take care, y'all. Have a great week, and uh, I'll see you again really soon.